A lot of people would ridicule me and call me names. They can hurt and cut deep and scars can last lifetimes. These days, the ugliest words we've used to dehumanize and degrade each other have largely fallen into disuse. In polite society, in fact, in most of society, they and their variants are banished, except perhaps when used ironically or as self-identifiers. Even on the playgrounds, those bastions of cruelty, racial, religious, and ethnic epithets are no longer tossed around like so many daggers. But one slur has resisted obsolescence. It continues to be used to hurt the feelings of those who are the least likely to defend themselves. There are other words that are used to inflict pain on those with intellectual disabilities. Kids would call me despicable names. I thought I was worthless. But none is as loaded as the R word. They who use it are demeaning not only the person at whom it's directed, but all people with intellectual disabilities and everyone who cares about them. Its two syllables encompass a history of cruelty and prejudice and loathing. It's more than a word, it's a weapon. It separates those who wield it from them. Society has been bending towards civility. We've seen the fruits of the civil rights movement, the women's rights movement, the LGBT rights movement, but there's been nothing quite as far reaching for those with intellectual disabilities. They continue to be marginalized. Their voice is rarely heard. I don't like being called retarded. It's not nice. And it's in that void that the R word, which is intended to reduce them to something less than fully human, finds the air it needs to stay alive. People with intellectual disabilities know that words do hurt, one word in particular. The hope is that, like so many other slurs, the R word will fade away. In a kinder world where there is no us, there is no them, no one will ever have to hear it.